nice stash. Thanks to show town spirit, Sheriff. The Founders Day celebrates Albert Einstein's vision of building a haven for the world's greatest thinkers to live and create. Create havoc. I got a phone call from my producer, and he told me that uh, the first episode was going to be going back in time to 1947, that we were going to resurrect Camp Eureka. And I thought, wow, what an exciting concept. It was super important for us to create a realistic portrayal of 1947 rather than just some, you know, random green screens and a truck driving by. When Petro told me they were going to build the town, and I was thinking, what can we really afford to build, and how's it really going to look? I am about to see Camp Eureka for the first time, which is still under construction, but oh my god, it's even bigger than I thought it was. Artillery gunman is going to be behind there, and our checkpoint out here in the middle of this field. Obviously, we've got all the tents. To do a period piece, number one, is always exciting. The size of the town that I had to design or the military installation was certainly a challenge, and I think we came back two and a half weeks early than we were supposed to in order to accomplish it, because naturally on an episodic schedule with seven day prep and a seven day shoot, there's no way we could accomplish what was written in the script in that short a time. It was really important that I had to design everything in proximity to the point of view of the actor, which is always a challenge, because naturally you want to get the, the biggest and the best look that you can, but um, you also have to follow what's noted in the script. The script is uh, the Bible. I'm very fortunate that the producers give me a great latitude with the design and I come up with concepts that I think will work to the script. Then I sit down with the, the director and I get his, his idea how he wants to shoot it and I'm going to make sure that everything that I'm designing works in accordance with the way that he wants to shoot it. And there's a lot of trust and they're quite open when I give them ideas. Uh, what I can design to give them a better shot, they're open for it and they'll rework their shot list around it. Although Eureka conceptually is supposed to be years ahead of anybody else, authenticity is paramount. And uh, to go back and do a lot of research and see what military uh, facilities looked like in 1947, the types of equipment that was used, Camp Eureka was built on location and it was a whole main town street with headquarters buildings and underground bunkers. That camp was huge. It all looked and felt real. It was gorgeous. To build this uh, 25,000 square foot set, you've got to paint it, and you have to age it, and then you have to dress it. We tried to get period Jeeps from our transportation department, rifles and guns and holsters and all that. You know, wardrobe uh, looks after, you know, the costumes naturally. All the uniforms we brought up from the U.S., and we wanted them to be authentic and uh, truly period World War to costumes, which they were. I think Colin always likes to try and get out of that sheriff's uniform. I mean, he wears it all the time. I mean, that's part of his character. That's who he is. That's what Eureka's about. But I think it's always fun for him to, to have a bit of a change. The one challenging character that we dressed was Erica, uh, who's Lupo, because when she time traveled back to 47 in a man's uniform. We had to fashion it so that it fit her, it looked sexy, and she looked good in it. Um, so that was sort of a bit of a challenge. And James Callis is an actor who definitely has an opinion about what his character is about. And we shopped a lot of thrift stores. We also manufactured some of his clothes to have that period feel and flavor. It was fun and it was fabulous and they all look great. Uh, look, I'm all for a costume party, but I gotta get back to town. We had a great visual effect where Carter gets out of the car and looks down the main street of Camp Eureka. We see uh, an airfield at the end and our visual effects department did an unbelievable job of recreating what we couldn't build. So they, they added to the set. This can't be real. That real enough for you? Probably the biggest challenge was not only to design a great period set, but also to do it on the budget and the money that we had to do. And there's so many departments involved, like even though we had a little bit of a jump on, on building such an enormous set, it was uh, extremely challenging to get it done before the cameras roll on.